Hi everyone, my name is Simona Liao, and I am a product manager in the Visual Studio GitHub Copilot team. Today, we're really excited to share with you the new GPT-40 code completion model is now available in Visual Studio Public Preview, starting 1714 Preview 2 for all GitHub Copilot users. This new model, based on GPT-40 Mini, has additional training on over 275,000 high-quality public repositories and over 30 more programming languages. As a result, it has more up-to-date knowledge and you can expect better completions. For language training, it does not only cover popular languages like C-sharp, C++, Java, Python, it also covers languages like Ruby, Rust, Vue, and many more. So you can expect higher quality response for your favorite language. This model was available in Visual Studio Code for roughly a month ago. And now we are already seeing really positive improvement where people are accepting and keeping more code completions provided by the new model compared to the original ones. So we're really excited to bring it to Visual Studio and further boost your productivity. Now I will pass it to my colleague, Andrea Ma, who is a software engineer on the team, to show you how you can enable this new model and demo its improvement. Thanks, Simona. Now I'm gonna demo this new option we have here. So if you click on the GitHub Copilot badge up here and you go to settings and then options, you get to go to the Copilot options. And we have this new one here called the Copilot Completions Model. So up till very recently, we only had the GPT-35 Turbo model available for completions. However, now we have this extra one here, um, GPT-40 Copilot, which is the new one that Simona was just talking about now. So let's try it with the older model, GPT-35 first. So I have this example here that's based on StreamJSON RPC, which is a library from .NET. And I'm defining this service here. So I want to create this API call to a bookstore slash get book. So let's get a completion here. So you can see that this is the completion I got, which is okay. It definitely drew out the intention from this comment. However, it doesn't actually use this string here that I wanted. Ideally, I'd be able to get a better result from completions. So as a result, I'm going to go to my options and actually select GPT-40 Copilot here. So I'll go back to my file. When I do my completion here, you can see that I'm actually getting this different completion. And this is actually using this attribute here, uh, which directly references what I mentioned in my comment, which is a lot better. Given that we only have this much code, it isn't necessarily perfect or flawless, but it's a much better guess than what we had before. And this is likely because GPT-40 Copilot is trained on so many more repos and it likely saw more examples of how to use this library here. So as a result, we're able to get a better result and I'm excited to see how it can apply to other areas of my code. Thank you so much, Andrea, for the great demo. I hope you all are excited and give it a try today. If you don't have GitHub Copilot yet, it is free now. It has 2000 completions token every month and you can use the tokens to play with the new model. You can enable GitHub Copilot free directly inside Visual Studio or learn more about it in our channel or on our blogs. For more information, check out the links in the description. Mm -hmm.